We know that plants and trees need water to grow, right? But how do they get water? And in fact, you have seen really tall trees. All parts of a plant and trees need water. So how does water reach to the very top of it? Well, let's let's find out from an activity. So here I have three glasses of water and three cabbage leaves. I also have some food color. I will add a red food color in the middle glass and mix it well. Make sure you add a lot of food color. And I will add the blue one to the, to the glass over here and mix it again. Now I will place these cabbage leaves into this water. So the first one goes over here. This water is, it has no color. Here goes the second one and the third one. Okay, now we will leave this setup for at least eight to nine hours and then come, come check what's happened after eight to nine hours. Can you predict what will happen? Take a guess. All right, so eight hours have passed and what do we see? We see the leaves have changed their color, right? The cabbage leaf in the water with no color has not really changed anything. It has in fact wilted a little. But now when we pull out the cabbage leaf in the water in the middle, which has a red color, see how the color has changed. It has become slightly red. And in fact, the one in the blue water that has become really blue, right? We can see how different it is. Let's look at the blue leaf closely. Look at how the blue water has spread throughout the leaf. We can even compare the leaf in the middle. That's, uh, that's the leaf which was kept in red water, water with red food color and the leaf which was kept in normal water. See how the color has changed again. Here are the before and after images for you to compare. Okay, but why did this happen? Why did the leaves change their color? 